Good morning everyone and welcome to Journaling Junkie. First of all I'd like to apologise um, for the absence that I've had um, over the last few weeks. I've been busy uh, doing one thing and another and uh, decided to take a break uh, from my journaling. But anyway, like the proverbial bad penny, I'm back. So uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope uh, you enjoy this junk journal. Um, it's sort of a steampunk theme. Um, the journal itself measures eight and a quarter by six inches. Um, as you can see, it's a ring bound journal. Uh, lots of uh, lovely things inside. Um, so I'll open it and st start straight into it. I can't speak again. Okay, so the front here. Um, I've added a little cluster, lots of different textures of fabrics, a metal butterfly here, uh, metal cogs, and uh, this little uh, thing here that says dream. Um, you can take this off, you can use it throughout the uh, journal itself, uh, but just under there is a little hidey hole uh, for anything that you want to keep secret. Okay, so something would just slide into the back of that there. There we go. Sorry about that. Somebody just called at the doors per usual. As soon as I start a video, something happens. Anyway, so straight into the uh, journal. Uh, here with a, a lovely um, silk pocket. And I've added an embellishment using um, some vintage lace. To journal on. Uh, this is uh, some pianola paper that I've actually backed onto paper and then sewn around um, just so that obviously this, this doesn't all rip. A little uh, journaling card here. A little fussy cut I've added. Uh, there's lots of stamping and stenciling throughout, very grungy, lots of clusters. Each page has been uh, stitched around and I've used these metal grommets to protect all the uh, pages when you're turning them through uh, the rings. I've got some uh, vellum paper here and a little uh, photo here and again I have a little slot behind there so you can pop something in so here is a little envelope so you can either make it into a proper envelope by sticking it down or use it as I have just to slot something in so it's embellished on the inside as well so that when it closes Right, there's not just plain paper there and a little tag the tags made, made for some wallpaper that I picked up that I thought went very well with this and I've coffee dyed it I've not uh, used a kit for this it's just papers that uh, I already own here we've got a little tuck spot and some paper to write on, a little bit of stamp in there. You've got a large journaling card that just pops into there. Just made uh, a little uh, side pocket and added uh, a little die cut cog. Again, one of the die cut cogs. I'm not sure if I'll pick it up with some like little gems on there as well. More stamping. Come on, you came out, so you must go in. I'll pop it back in a moment. So another tuck spot there. More stenciling. The beauty of this uh, journal is you can add whatever you like to it plus you can change the pages over so if you didn't want that page there you can put it further on in the book so I do like this style of journal 
So here we've got another tag. Again, I've used the uh, silk fabric here. Little pocket here. I suppose it's a steampunk uh, typography uh, style journal, this one. Here I've embossed some paper and made it into a little tag, a little tuck spot there. More stamping and stitching around. And then here. I've made this into a little uh, tuck spot. So there's a little pocket here. And here we have some journaling cards. I think I do have some uh, bits and pieces left over from this. Um, so if I do have, I will include them. The journal will be available on, in my Etsy store as soon as the video is uploaded. Up. I've added some uh, little metal embellishments on there and then this comes out with a bit of stamping, more stamping. I've uh, cut this out and added a little paper clip on the back so that uh, it can be used as a tuck spot. Here I've taken some uh, wax paper, made a little bag out of it and uh, made a journaling tag there. Large journaling card here, little cluster here, fabrics and uh, a die cut cog. Large pocket uh, with some like, um, it's almost a metallic fabric. I thought it went well with the steampunk. And again, I've added some little diamantes here which coordinate perfectly with that. And another journaling card there. A little bit of a cluster I've added on there to decorate. Little uh, corner pocket and a journaling tab there. I did lots of um, die cut cogs there. A little uh, bag that I've made from a paper bag. I'm just fussy cut this little image out. Another large pocket, embellishments on, large tag, journaling card, and then this is a little envelope there that you can just add things in, stick it down or use it as a side flip or something like that. And here you can see it's it's like a little steampunk dragonfly. And then this opens up to be a large piece of uh, journaling paper. I do really enjoy making these uh, steampunk journals. Just got caught on there. Little pocket made from uh, some corrugated paper, a journaling tag, and another piece of paper there. That just uh, edge punch and stamped. 
and then we've come to the back of the journal which again I've left plain the back is plain but I will be adding uh, my journaling junkie logo on there well I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and um, thank you for putting up with my little absence uh, as I say, this journal will be available in my Etsy store. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and I hope to be with you very soon. Thank you again for watching. Bye.